Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you. For me right now, it's morning. Uh, I had just recently woke up and I was scrolling through and I saw one of these people that are passionate about fitness. I don't think this person is an instructor, but they're very passionate about fitness. And um, they was explaining uh, pretty much about SX skin. Uh, excess skin that hangs off his stomach sometime or people that have excess skin on their body after they finish losing weight some people rather just stay big or stay a certain size because they're afraid that if they lose the weight they're afraid about the skin and she was saying what's the comparison to having a fit body feeling better being more better in your body in your and in your temple and just feeling better as a whole and or and then worrying about excess skin or being big and unhealthy and having problems you know with health issues so basically what she's trying to say is is um, you can't look at other people and look at celebrities and look at like how their stomachs look and how their bodies look and be like, you know, that's how you want yours to be. Number one, like she was saying, they have things at their fingertips that we don't have. You know, they, they, they have money for, th this is me adding because it's things I've been trying to tell people for a long time. These celebrities have money and have access to things that probably some of us will never so we got to stop comparing. Our bodies are all different. I just made a video about this a few days ago. And obviously people are still not getting it. Although there's all these different people around the world trying to tell you guys this. My body is not going to look like um, your favorite movie star. That's not going to happen. I can get my body to look relatively sexy, to look good, to look uh, healthy. But it will not look like those celebrities. And these bodybuilders. I'm not taking steroids. I'm not taking performance enhancement drugs. I don't like powders uh, when it comes to protein, whey protein, all that stuff. I don't like that stuff. I don't want to put that stuff in my body because personally, I personally feel like a lot of that stuff is cancerous. You know, that's just my personal opinion. You can't knock me because of that. And I don't want to put that those foreign items in my body that my body will not recognize. You know, people will have all kinds of, you know, scientific reasons why you should take it and why you need this and why you need that that's fine if we needed it nature would have gave it to us to be to begin with and from my standpoint nature has given us all the foods that we need naturally with protein already in it but a lot of people are are they don't like vegetables they don't like certain things so they go to that if that's what helps you fine i'm not knocking you i'm just saying I'm not doing it and my reason for not doing it. So if I never get a shredded six or eight pack, so be it. As long as my arms and my thighs and everything is fit and look good. I'm not going to have my shirt off that much anyway anymore. You know, I might have a tank top so on to show my arms and stuff, but I'm not going to walk around with no shirt on no more. It's too cold for that. But anyway, yeah, basically she's trying to get people to understand. Be you, work with what you have. You know, some people are blessed with genetics that others don't have. It sucks, but it's an unfortunate. You know, so oh, peace, love, shalom. I'm going to go ahead and lay back down. But I just had to throw this out there at you guys because I know it's a lot of you out there stressing about weight. I'm out.